exactly you. Welcome back to our channel. The vlog that you're about to see is taken from my live Friday night show and you'll see me chatting to my lovely sparklies. Tonight the whole show is dedicated to the birthstone for November beautiful blue topaz and as you can hear at the time of recording we are very close to bonfire night here in the UK so you might hear some fireworks in the background and also a little bit of barking and maybe a cameo from Moriarty too. Let's listen in. Field and it's Friday night! Woo! Hi everybody, happy Friday! Lovely to have your company on this beautiful Friday evening in November. I know, can you believe it's November? It's, I have no clue how that happened. Two minutes ago I was sitting with you and we were chatting and it was July and it was warm and we were talking about ice cream and looking at our starfish jewellery and now, oh my goodness, and as soon as the clocks go back it feels later doesn't it and feels kind of dark and that sort of thing but it gives us a good excuse to light all of our lamps and our candles and sit and have sparkly cozy little chats together so it's all good lots to look forward to in november and december not least the beautiful birthstone for november which is of course topaz and i have an entirely new topaz collection to show you tonight i'm so excited to see what you think we've got so many to get through good evening to georgina happy november friday i know oh i can't believe it's november already scary happy friday lovely to have your company we've got lots of jewelry tonight so i'm gonna go straight in and show you the first piece we'll catch up as we go along if you are watching along then do pop on and say hi it's lovely to know that i've got your company so each of the pieces that i'm going to show you tonight features blue topaz so this one here is blue topaz with larimar and blue topaz so many different kinds of blue this one's a really nice light blue a gorgeous pear shaped the larimar I'm just looking now, is that a Larimar or is it a blue agate? Because it looks, it's a blue lace agate. I was going to say, when I started to look then, I thought, no, that's got stripes, that's not Larimar. We can tell it's an, an agate, a lace agate, because of the stripes going across there. And Larimar is um, a little, slightly bit of a deeper blue. So there's the blue topaz on the top, a nice bale on there. And of course, on our super popular dotty chain, Linda says, yay, sparkle time. Yay. Hi, Linda. Lovely to have your company. And Pauline says, happy Friday from Hemsdee. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful time in Hemsdee. Happy Friday to Becky Boo. Good evening. All the sparklies are here. It's very exciting. So Pauline, are you on holiday? Sounds like you're having a good time. This one's £55. Kathleen says, happy Friday, happy Friday, Kathleen. Lovely to have your company tonight. And then the next piece that I've got, we've got blue topaz in the top and moonstone in the centre and that gorgeous blue on the bottom of a iolite on the bottom there. Very deep blue for an eye light, gorgeous. And lovely rainbow moonstone in the centre, so we've got some colours pulling through there. Again on that dotty chain, Pauline says, yes, it's Elvis week. Oh, of course. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I hope you have a lovely time. There, so we've got some of that pink and that red coming through in the moonstone as well. Now, blue topaz is one of my favourites. This is, of course, the gemstone that's in my engagement ring which I just love and I love it because it goes with everything it's brilliant obviously blue it's not a neutral but it goes with so many different different colors and you can kind of mix and match it up and with the real gemstone collections it's really nice to be able to wear them with different pieces that you've got in your wardrobe so you can team them up with other blue pieces in your wardrobe or you can wear the match or you can wear the silver this one's gorgeous that combination again Blue topaz, moonstone, and eyelight. So let me just let's pop so all this goes together. There we go. So this one's a necklace rather than a pendant. Let me just pop my my pieces off, and then I can show you how these sit on as well. Because it's always nice to see. It gives you a better idea of size, I think, when you've got them on. So what have you all been up to this week? We've been um, discovering ghosts in the shambles. I don't know if you saw that uh, reel on Facebook. We've had um, two proposals, I think, not each, you know, <laughs> two engagement rings. Very exciting. Some wedding rings as well. Uh, lots of birthdays. 
um christmas lots of christmas shoppers this week which is lovely to see if you're very organized and have started or finished your christmas shopping then well done i've got a few little bits and if you're looking to do some christmas shopping then do remember that we offer our deposit system so any of these pieces you can pop on deposit and that means that then you can come and pay your balance in december and everything's all done of course everything at adorn is all gift wrapped for you in one of our very famous little green bags this is how this one sits she's just a bit longer because she's actually yeah she's actually sitting on my collar there but so she's just going to rest across your decolletage she's um got a shortened and a longened piece longened <laughs> it's been a long day a lengthened <laughs> piece on the back so i'll show you so you can make her shorter or longer depending on what you're wearing at the time which is always helpful to have so at her longest she's going to sit at about 16 inches at her shortest let's just have a look and estimate that since she's going to sit maybe about 14 maybe a little bit longer i'd have to give that a measure for you you'll hear tonight in the background by the way this one's 85 pounds this one is silver they're all silver tonight so you'll hear in the background maybe some fireworks um going off there are loads tonight i'm not quite sure why i'm trying to work out if it's uh, it's the weekend before bonfire night isn't it and i thought it would be tomorrow that everything would be sort of crazy maybe uh but no it's tonight so they're kind of in the background and um the boys so moriarty's not fussed about fireworks at all it doesn't bother him not much phases him to be honest um heath is hiding under the bed so i don't think we'll see heathy tonight but we might see moriarty a little bit later henny says good evening good evening henny happy friday linda says same here yeah how's archie with the fireworks linda does he like them or is he not bothered um haven't even started christmas shopping don't worry you've got loads of time loads of time <laughs> don't worry <laughs> so this next piece i love 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 becky says we have loads of fireworks here too oh dogs aren't happy lots of cuddles yes definitely that's the best remedy i think um yeah it's not nice for dogs or cats is it i know some of like as i say maury doesn't bother him at all um but he you know um wendy says good evening good evening wendy um good evening sparklies am i late says wendy no you're not um i am <laughs> but you're not don't worry no you're fine we've just started um this is my fourth piece so no you've barely missed anything at all don't worry we're showing blue topaz tonight so the gemstone for november and this entire collection is a new collection i should mention as well that these are all one-off pieces so some of them i've got i think one of the sets of earrings i've got maybe four four or so of um but everything else is sort of ones and twos linda says oh she's not bothered about fireworks but halloween freaked him out with the trick-or-treaters yes definitely it was quite um see the boys weren't particularly bothered we didn't have many trick-or-treaters this year um i, wa uh, I wasn't actually in <laughs> that long i uh, i came home i uh, turned around went to the gym came back and my little goddaughter trick-or-treated us just before she lives next door um and she trick-or-treated us just before i went out so uh, she did really well she got a lot of sweets because we hadn't had many trick-or-treaters at all uh wendy says i'm a nana again oh congratulations wendy my daughter gave birth this morning to a daughter eleanor oh how lovely oh many congratulations what a lovely name as well eleanor that's nice happy news for a friday good evening tara lovely to have your company tonight and we must say good evening to Leslie as well. Hello, Leslie. I know that you watch, um, but you don't comment. So hello to you. I hope you're having a lovely time. So double topaz in here then. And this one, a nice deep blue, which I just think is absolutely lovely. A decorative bale on the top. I've popped her on a slightly heavier dotty. can't remember if I've shown you this heavier dotty. Um, Wendy says, thank you. You're welcome, Wendy. You're most welcome. Uh, this one is a heavier than our usual so let's just pop them side by side i think i've shown you before but just slightly heavier and because this one's got a really nice big bale i thought she deserved something a little bit heavier she'd also fit a snake so if you wanted a snake chain on there 
to go thicker again than you could and she'd probably fit on your talk as yeah she would actually i'm just looking at the side she'd fit on your talk as well nolene says beautiful thank you nolene uh wendy says not seen the heavier dotty perhaps i didn't show you then we've got a heavier dotty now and she is in 16 18 20 and i think we do a longer um than 20 as well in the heavier dotty I'll check. I'll check. It's whole of, it'll be a whole of the show of dotties. So this uh, this one sits a really nice pendant, and you can see how she's catching the light. She looks so beautiful on, doesn't she? These gemstones just come to life, don't they, when you see them being worn. Stephanie says, good evening. Lovely to see you. Good evening, Stephanie. Happy Friday to you too. Linda says, love the heavy chain. Thank you. Me too. Perfect for the bigger pieces. Not seen it before. Oh, I definitely haven't shown it to you then. Yeah. So here we go. So we've got a new heavier, sp uh, sparkly, a new heavier dotty chain. She's a little bit sparkly. So for the bigger pieces... I think she looks fab because obviously our dotty chain is super, super popular. You love her. I do too. £75 this one. Pauline says, love that pendant. Thank you, Pauline. She's gorgeous colour, isn't she? Really, really beautiful. Almost kind of a Swiss. Well, mm, I don't know. She's a bit deeper than a Swiss blue. Yeah, but she's a gorgeous blue topaz. Lovely. So then another necklace to show you next. And I'm running through these because we've got so many to show you tonight. So we'll go doubly quick and then you'll be able to catch up if you want to a little bit later and play back. And if you play back on um, YouTube, so I post this whole show over on YouTube when I finished. And so it's usually up there Saturday morning, if not earlier. And you can watch all the way through, but you can skip right the way through as well. So if there's a certain piece that you want to see... You don't need to watch the whole show. This one sits beautifully. Look at those blues in there. Wendy says, beautiful blues. Thank you, Wendy. They're gorgeous, aren't they? So let's bring this one in. So we've got those gorgeous moonstone in there, amethyst, blue topaz, the eye light in there as well. And I just love, love, love the colours in there. We've got a cubic zirconia in there too. £85 that one and then the other birthstone for November is citrine so I thought we'd uh, put a couple of citrine in there as well and so you could see there we go so beautiful beautiful citrine and a really nice decorative bale as well that's Mr Sparkles on the hunt for the boys He's made them some nice tea, so he's just going to take that to them to cheer them up a little bit. Wendy says, I love citrine. Thank you, Wendy. Me too. So it's going to be your granddaughter's birthstone, citrine, if she, um, if she was born today. Citrine and blue topaz. Caroline says, hi. Hi, Caroline. Happy Friday. Lovely to have your company tonight. And Wendy says, hi to Mr. Sparkles. He's just nipped up the stairs. I'll tell him when he comes back down. He's walking, walking around with two plates of food, looking for the boys. Mr. Sparkles, Wendy says hi. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Hello, Moriarty. I'd like to have his chicken. Are you going to have some chicken for your tea? Oh, mm. yeah, lick your lips. <laughs> mm. 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 Very nice. That's not chicken. That's citrine. That's not your birthstone. Your birthstone's garnet. Yes. <laughs> I bet you didn't know Moriarty could fly, did you? So there's a gorgeous decorative bale there and those decorative sides as well. Wendy says, oh, he's gorgeous. Thank you, Wendy. Now, just to clarify, are we talking about Moriarty or Mr. Sparkles there? I think Moriarty. <laughs> And Henny says, like the heavier dotty chain. Alexandra says, hi, Laura Jo, great jewellery. Hi, Alexandra, thank you. That's very lovely. Lovely to have your company tonight. Linda says, don't have any citrine. Oh, my goodness. Well, here we are. We might have to add this into the collection then, in my completely unbiased opinion. £55, this one. Oh, Pauline says, you're both beautiful, Mr Sparkles. And so does Mum. Yeah. <laughs> And Wendy says, uh, Moriarty's cute and you're nice too. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 
Now, Linda says that's a difficult choice, but I think you're talking about the citrine, aren't you, Linda? Not, <laughs> not Mr. Sparkles and Moriarty. <laughs> so £55, that one. And then we've teamed her here with a few lighter colours. And I think this shows just how versatile this gemstone is, because here she's looking also springy. So she's peridot in the bottom, blue topaz in the top, and we've got a gorgeous rose quartz in the center. Beautiful colors in the heart. Now this one is 45 pounds. Let's just put that on so we can see. There, so she's gonna sit just like that. Nice pendant, very dainty that one, not too small but a nice kind of dainty feel to her, that one. Gorgeous. Now, this is also the time of year when I always ask if there's anything that you're hoping to see in our Christmas collections. So do feel free to let me know if there's anything that you're hoping for. Linda says, great for holidays. This one would be perfect for holidays, wouldn't it? I think you're quite right. Really nice, lots of different colors to blend in. Pauline says, that one is so nice. Thank you, Pauline. I love the hearts on this on our super popular chain and then the next piece is so pretty and very unusual look at this now answer a question for me because when i was photographing her earlier i think she's a moth so i think she looks like a tiger moth but is she a moth or is she a butterfly what do we think so she's got a pearl for her body a blue topaz here and then mother of pearl wings she's so beautiful this piece and the pearl is a full pearl so she's going to have this gorgeous movement to her and then when i was looking at the pearl as the body i thought well maybe she's a bee so maybe she's not a moth or a butterfly at all but maybe she's a bee when i've got her on look what do you think wendy thinks moth yeah i thought moth just, I don't know, I think because of the shape of the wings, maybe. Um, let's see what Mr. Sparkles thinks, because he's written the tag for this one. Oh, Mr. Sparkles thinks he's a bee. So there you go. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's what we'd like for the Christmas collections. Uh, Linda's put Daniel Craig would be nice. Linda, if Daniel Craig gets into my collection, all I can say is get in the queue. <laughs> you, uh, oh, well, I don't know where Mr. Sparkles has gone. <laughs> Yeah, he would be nice in the Christmas collection. I'll do my best. I'll see. Georgina says, pearly queen bee. There you go. She's a queen bee. Solved. Mystery solved. She's gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> Linda's laughing at that one. You know, I mean, there'd be worse things to have under your Christmas tree. That's all I'm saying. Nolene says, I thought bee initially. There we go. So bee then. Mr. Sparkles, Georgina and Olene, we all think, we all think he's a bee. Wendy and I think he's a moth. Nobody thinks he's a butterfly. Oh, so there you go. So you'll have to wait and see how he gets described on the website. Hello. I think that was a Heathcliff. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, no, he's a Moriarty. Oh, he's a Moriarty. Hello. <laughs> he's just walking around licking his lips. I think he's had his tea now. That was quick, wasn't it? Good grief. Did you even chew that, Murray? Another gorgeous piece of blue topaz. I'm really happy with this collection because we've got some really nice sized pieces. Wendy says, I like that one, gorgeous. Thank you, Wendy. Faye says, moth or bee, it's lovely. Oh, thank you, Faye. Yeah, she can be queen bee, miss moth, lovely butterfly. <laughs> Quite a long title, but there you go. Angela says, oh my goodness, why am I always late? Angela, don't worry, there's no naughty step here. You're fine. Happy Friday, one and all, says Angela. Happy Friday to you. It's lovely to have your company tonight. We've got blue topaz tonight, the gemstone for November. We've got a little bit of citrine mixed in there as well. I love the bale on this one. I've chosen a dotty for her because then all of the attention is on that gemstone. But again, she would easily take a snake chain. So if you wanted to go for a thicker chain, then you could easily do that. She's going to sit beautifully. I love um, I love embellished pieces, but there's something about the simplicity of just the gemstone, isn't there? So all the attention here is on this piece. 
and this faceted blue topaz just absolutely gorgeous and i love her um i've got to check the price again on that one she's a brilliant price she's 45 pounds that's great there you go amazing gorgeous fabulous put her on your christmas list are you making Christmas lists this year? Have you got one thing that you'd like? Apart from Daniel Craig, obviously. Have you got one thing that you'd like? Wendy says, gorgeous piece. Thank you, Wendy. She's beautiful, isn't she? The colour in this one is gorgeous as well. Absolutely beautiful. Love the bale as well. A nice decorative bale. I do love a nice bale. And then Art Deco Vibes for the next piece. And we've got the eye light in the top. I'm just going to have a little... I think we've got eyelight in the top and the centre there. Oh no, she's onyx. <laughs> I'm looking as if to go, I don't think that's funny, she's onyx. There we go, very deco then. Onyx and blue topaz. Can, can you hear Moriarty in the background? He's gone up, he can't understand why Heathcliff won't play with him. So Heathcliff's under the bed. And Maury's just standing at the side of the bed and he's jumping on and watching the fireworks and then jumping down and asking Heathcliff why he won't play. He doesn't, doesn't know why he, he's hiding. So he's just going to stand and shout at him. That's uh, Maury's uh, MO when he wants to uh, make something change. He just stands and shouts at you. And to be fair, it works a lot of the time. <laughs> Angela says, yes, I'd like Marty Pello in a big red bow. <gasps> Fabulous. Oh, yes, that sounds lovely. What a lovely thing to find under your Christmas tree. I shall have a look. I'll see. You never know who watches, do you? You never know that somewhere Daniel Craig and Marty Pello might be having a glass of champagne and saying, what should we do for Christmas this year? And then they watch the Facebook Live and go, I know, we'll head to a dawn. We'll head to a dawn and see the sparklies. You never know. Linda says, can't wait for your bracelet. Oh, I'm so excited for your bracelet. She's beautiful. She's safe in our save. I'm so excited to see you wear her. Wendy would like some Blue John studs. They are our fabulous classic. Definitely. Very nice thing to have on your Christmas list. Uh, and Linda says, oh, great choice. Yes. I'm not sure if that's the Blue John studs or Marty Pello. I don't know. So quite Art Deco, this one, £55 with the dotty chain again. And then a really nice big piece. Look at this. Gorgeous blue topaz. Now, if you like your straight lines, so Linda, this might not be one for you. And I know a couple of you also, <laughs> Linda says both. <laughs> yes, very true. <laughs> I know that some of you don't like the um, sort of offset or, or anything that's not kind of sitting true. And this one definitely isn't she's got can you see i love the way she's set because she really plays with your with your you say plays with your mind but i suppose she does there doesn't she let me pop her on and show you what i mean there we go so we've got the topaz in the center and then all of these offset pear shapes uh linda says ah oh, just said this not for me <laughs> there you go i knew i know you you see so gorgeous, gorgeous texture there. A nice, generous bale on the top. So as you can see, she's easily happy with this big snake chain. You could, she's not heavy. So if you wanted to put her on something lighter and make her the star of the show, then you could. Um, but when I tried her earlier, I was happier with the look on the big chain. I think she looks fabulous on the big chain. She's gorgeous and textured. I'm going to show you a close-up in a minute. I'll just pop her off. And of course, she's in silver as well oops there let's bring her in 135 pounds that one gorgeous gorgeous piece so they're the pendants that i've got to show you and now i'm going to show you earrings so i'm just going to clear some space i was trying to um when i lay everything out just pop everything i'm just going to reach over excuse me for a moment oops and we'll just bring in wee, the earrings and I'm just going to pop those there. Let's just nudge, nudge, nudge those lights up there. OK, I think we're set. Let's have a look. Yes, we've still got enough light on there. Um, I've just got to find my ear sticks. There they are. Yes. So let me show you the earrings and I've got some sweets. Let me show you the sweets first um, because these are just so pretty. This is the first sweet. So it's a 
nice blue topaz again with that deeper blue with a little dragonfly on the top little dragonfly pendant and we've got matching earrings as well so the earrings are a little stud earring to match the dragonfly in there aren't they pretty so the suite as a whole is 60 pounds so that's pendant and earrings very very pretty there let's move those to the side and then let me show you these gorgeous earrings these are a fabulous drop very much christmas party earrings these ones again with that topaz in there and that's how they're going to sit let's just take that earring out so you can see properly let's put her oops there we go look at the drop on those aren't they fab a really nice twinkly drop some gorgeous party earrings there now the gemstones that you can see in here we've blue topaz on the top amethyst underneath and iolite at the bottom so all of those blues and purples in there as well which i just love let's bring those in a little closer so you can see those gemstones and then the silver beads on each side just to give them a little bit of width as well 65 pounds these ones wendy says they're fab thank you wendy they're gorgeous aren't they i love the length of these ones and then let's go from a very very long to very very short and let me show you the blue topaz studs so a gorgeous blue in the center really contemporary these ones with a silver setting on the side pauline says love the drop ones thanks pauline georgina says beautiful thank you they're a gorgeous aren't they gorgeous color and then we've got our topaz twinkle earrings now these have been very popular so just a couple of pairs of these left now and i showed these to you the other week i think so there they are topaz moonstone iolite just beautiful really pretty and twinkly those ones and a nice drop on there as well let's just pop those off sorry to reach over you there we go so they're going to sit and twinkle in your ear twinkle all the way and then another suite to show you beautiful soft blues in this one gorgeous gorgeous so blue topaz again with moonstone in there and amazonite at the top which again i thought was larimar did i tell you when um we go to this designer and he works with such unusual gemstones so we play guess the gemstone and i pride myself on gemstones it's something that i'm really passionate about i can normally recognize them a mile off and he often manages to catch me out which as you can imagine i'm thrilled about <laughs> i do like learning i do i promise there we are let's show you the earrings to go with that oh you can't see she's just out of frame pauline says that one is so pretty thank you pauline she's gorgeous isn't she so a little sweet so pendant and matching earrings with these and these are 110 pounds altogether very very pretty lovely gorgeous so let's pop that off and can you hear murray he's so naughty isn't he he's just shouting at heath i think he uh, he doesn't quite get that that's it for heathcliff tonight he's under the bed and that is where he will stay until these fireworks have calmed down gorgeous big piece next look at these square moonstone in the center oval blue topaz around the edge wendy says a pretty collection thank you wendy face is gorgeous set thank you Faye. really pretty those ones aren't they so these have got a nice fixed hook so they're going to sit really nicely in your ear and again they're a big piece but they're not heavy they're nicely set so they're very wearable i always like to know with bigger earrings whether they're just sort of car to bar earrings or whether you can wear them all night and these ones i'd be happy to wear for an entire night aren't they fab so the gorgeous moonstone in the center some fabulous blues running through that moonstone there that i just adore a little bit smaller for the next ones a nice little drop so we've a lovely op uh, not an opal a lovely blue topaz in there and an iolite at the top they're going to sit just off your ear there so they're going to twinkle around those ones so those are 40 pounds sorry the ones before i didn't tell you did i those are 65 pounds 
these ones are 40 pounds wendy says gorgeous earrings laura thank you wendy they're fab these ones aren't they let's go for something a little bit longer again with that contemporary and these ones have got a gorgeous brillet on the bottom so that nice sort of raindrop effect almost with the blue topaz there and a nice checkerboard nolene says very pretty thanks nolene so they're going to sit just there a nice swing on those ones gorgeous almost a chandelier drop those ones aren't they they are just fab 45 pounds those ones and i love them and then a little bit smaller again oh she doesn't want to come off she's having such a good time there we go look at that that's it right so little twinkly ones next and these ones have got gorgeous blue topaz in the middle twinkly cubic zirconia around the outside these are 35 pounds tara says love those thank you tara wendy says so much choice and they're all so lovely thank you wendy it's a gorgeous collection this one isn't it i've been so excited to preview it with you i photographed them all today and they're not going to be online today we've got absolutely no chance we've um there is a new bar which is opened in chester oh sorry it's, it will be opening i think it's opening tomorrow in chesterfield um, and we've been invited to the launch as a, um, a VIP, which I thought was very lovely. They've invited um, lots of businesses as kind of a little soft launch. So we're popping up there for a drink in a little while. There we go. So half hoops, these ones, which I just adore. Linda says, what a choice. I know it's so difficult to choose, isn't it? Even I'm finding it difficult with these collections. There are just such gorgeous, gorgeous gemstones in there, aren't there? I love the shape. They've got a marquee blue topaz there. And the half hoop. So they're sitting there. Very, very pretty. Those ones are £35 as well. And then a nice longer oval. Here we are. Let's have a little look. A nice drop on there with a kind of a Celtic feel to them. A gorgeous drop again on there. Fabulous. So the pieces that I've shown you tonight, a couple of them are online now, um, but the rest of them I'm hoping will be online on probably by next week, Monday, hopefully. But <laughs> if there's a particular piece that you can see, you know that you can buy it before it goes online don't worry just send a message uh georgina says so twinkly thank you georgina they're so pretty aren't they and little tiny ones to finish with the cubic zirconia at the top oh do you know as well i've got some uh there we go those little minis and some enamel ones as well I've got the ring of the week as well, and she's not here. She must be in my bag. Let's get the ring of the week in a minute. Gorgeous little Art Deco fans there. Beautiful. £30, those ones. I know they're not topaz, but they're blue. And I, I, went, I was going through the collection tonight, and I thought, yeah, I really want to show you those, because they're really pretty. Um, I think it's in this one, Mr Sparkles. Supporting his wife while she's in front of the camera since... 2002? 2001. <laughs> 2001. <laughs> Pauline says, lovely show now, back to the rock and roll. Pauline, have an amazing time. It's going to be fabulous. Um, if she's not in the front pocket of that big bag, then, she, then she's not here. Um, that, that, that's it, yeah. I'm showing you no ear stick there. <laughs> she's in a green, a green velvet box if she's there. But uh, she's, it's equally possible that she's just in the safe. Oh no, no ring of the week this week then. We'll have to show you tomorrow. It'll be fine. We'll show you tomorrow. She's gorgeous. She's citrine. She's huge. You're going to love her. Oh, there you go. So <laughs> that, was, that was the end of the show, the uh, the ring. But there you are. I hope you've enjoyed the blue topaz that I've shown you tonight. Uh, Tora says, is mystic topaz a man-made stone, a man-made gem? Uh, yes. So mystic topaz is, um, it's kind of um, a coating that's on the gem that gives it that uh, sort of, it's kind of a wizard's look, isn't it? So purples and greens. Hello, naughty. Oh, 
book. <laughs> Hi, is it you that we can hear doing all that barking up there? It can't possibly be because you're so tiny and that barking was so loud. Oh, fireworks. It's alright though. We don't mind fireworks, do we, love? No, we don't. No, we do. Yes, it's alright. Fly away, little bee. <laughs> He's away. <laughs> Angela says, Fab Show is always thanking you. Oh, thank you, Angela. That's lovely. Linda says, gorgeous. Thank you. Becky says, lovely show. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. So all of the pieces are going to be at dawn tomorrow. So you'll be able to come in, try them on and put them on your Christmas list. You can come in and make a little wish list. I'm glad that you've spent some time with me tonight. Friday sounds like elephants, doesn't it? They're running up and down the stairs now. There's, um, yes, it's always one of my favourite parts of the highlight of my week to come and spend some time with you on a Friday. And it means an awful lot that you come and spend some time with me as well. Have a fabulous weekend or whatever you're doing. I'm here at a dawn um, tomorrow. That's Saturday from 10 until 5. And then our usual opening hours next week, Monday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 10 until 5. Lots of love from my home to yours. And remember, until next we meet, eat sleep, sparkle, repeat, and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody, see you soon. <laughs>